Why you gon' do like that? Why you gon' keep that in from me? Why you gon' do like that? Why you gon' act like you don't know? Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be telling you all about my contacts. I get a lot of questions asking whether or not they are my natural eye color, which unfortunately they are not. But I can tell you exactly where I got them from. I ordered them online from lens.me and they are by the brand Salatica and they are the Hydrocore in shade Graphite. They're supposed to be gray but most people see blue. When I ordered them, I paid a total of $99. They're listed as $89, but I think because these are actually prescription, it's an extra 10 if they're prescription. And so yeah, and to me, $99 is not a bad price because these are yearly. So you can wear these for a full year without any issues. Probably even longer if you take like really good care of them. Cause mine are almost a year old so yeah and they are not causing me any problems previously i had desio lenses which were i think three months wear and the difference between those two between Salatica and desio on Salatica, with the pair you can customize each lens to whatever strength prescription you need because if you're like me i need a different strength for each eye one eye is weakened than the other and I did like that Salatica allowed me to choose a different strength for either my left and my right eye. But Desio did not. So I actually had to order two pair from Desio, which really came out to be about the same amount as one pair for Salatica. But Salatica lasts twice as long. When I ordered them, they took about a week, maybe a week and a half to get to me. And I was very shocked because I was expecting them to take a lot longer. But compared to the previous contacts that I had were, which were Desio, they are slightly thicker to me. When I first put them in, I did feel a difference between the Desio and the Salatica. Maybe because the Salatica is supposed to be yearly, so they have to be more durable. And the only issue that I had with these when I first started to wear them was at night when I would be driving home from work. It was kind of hard to see a little bit, not, not necessarily hard to see, but it was like I could see the printed, I don't know, what do you call it? The pixels, the printed, like the printed checkered pattern on the contacts within the lights of everything. Like the lights of the oncoming cars, the back, the brake lights from the cars in front of me, the street lights, any lights. I could see the checkered pattern within the lights and if you're nearsighted like me, when you don't have anything to correct your vision, the way lights look like they kind of like expand. If, you, if you're nearsighted like me, then you understand what I mean when the lights expand. They look a lot bigger than what they are and that's how lights looked for me for the first few days while I was driving at night. It took my eyes a few days to adjust to that, but now I don't have any issues with them. And uh, when I first started wearing them, they were a little bit dry. Maybe again because they're thicker, but they were a little bit dry. Now they're not an issue. So here's what they look like up close and personal. Let's see if I can get in the sun a little bit better. I might be too shiny for the sun though. <laughs> I might be too shiny for the sun. Oh, well, there's the sun, but, and this is what they look like up close. Thank you for watching. I hope you will found this video some kind of helpful I know there's like a bajillion videos on these lens but I get questioned very often and I thought I should make a video about it why not so don't forget to like comment and hopefully subscribe and I will see you in the next video bye why you gon' act like you don't know? No, baby, don't do like that. Girl, come feed me, don't be stingy. Why you